time would just reduce oh, no, 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 no. all those okay. issues and so as your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems get back in alignment your, your, your issues go away to a large 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 degree and so you still may want to practice mindfulness which is being awareness which I'm very much into right and that's what our center does also be self-aware because if you're not self-aware you don't even know that your mind's going crazy you can't even know your heart rate's going fast oh my gosh my heart's beating why is my heart beating oh my right. God. okay traffic oh traffic does it right. traffic is true figure out those triggers right and then you can go to your techniques of body awareness breathing or just by being aware of it it loses its impact okay you know you are not your emotions you know you are and you can then manage them uh cognitive uh, therapy yeah yeah and you know mindfulness for me I was able to just kind of go, oh, whatever I was feeling I could just watch where I'm angry I can choose now to be angry or I can choose not to be angry. I can separate from it and it makes all the difference. Otherwise, we feel like we're just conditioned beings. mentorship all right it doesn't take a lot as you know I don't, you know, I don't I don't even think you know the impact that you've had in my life in the way I think right yeah, um, yeah. because you've just been a friend right yeah. uh, but you don't know the, the amount of times that I think what would John do in this situation how did John get to where he's at you know um, how does Wiz come up with those experiences and stories you know why does Marco think um the way he does and what does he do right so all those things you start piecing them together on the on the on the business side and for me this is kind of a perfect marriage when you have a military as far as us on this side and you guys in the civilian sector marrying that up and being able to mentor guys coming out and um what what it's going to take to get those guys to start thinking the way let's say you guys do or you guys understanding the world through our eyes as well Thank you everybody for showing up. My name is CJ, um, founder of Dutton Cover Initiative. 15 years I spent active duty inside the military. So, uh, started off under Clinton administration in 99. From there, the war kicked off. I was first in there with the 82nd, right after the 101st, actually went in there prior to us, but still old West cowboy rules back then. Um, deployed to Afghanistan, then, then Iraq, went to Afghanistan two more times, Pakistan. So I've been all I've been over the world a little bit, not all over the world. <clears throat> Got really caught up into uh, substance abuse due to uh, my time in, and, and actually just not being able to cope and not being able to talk. So make the freaking bad feelings go away with alcohol. Oh shit, too much alcohol, freaking bad feelings come back. All right, well, and walk cocaine. That actually started following me down in my career. I got a DUI. I got booted out. 
that was my changing point in life in which I moved out to Vegas, started working for um, Adventure Combat Ops out there, which then transferred over to Apocalypse Vegas. We rebranded. Um, <clears throat> great time out there. It actually taught me that all my struggles I've gone through in life and I've overcome has taught me to actually help show others their ability to actually overcome their thing. Whether that be simple team building, bonding, whether that be actual one-on-one -on -one interaction with people and helping them figure out life struggles is freaking wonderful. And I'm pretty sure for those of you out there that actually reached out and touched somebody's life and actually helped them out with the problem and you see them accomplish something, it gives you a bit, a bit of sense of pride as well. And then also they come back and they thank you like you just did here with John. Um, that gratitude brings you a warm feeling and also it helps build rapport and helps strengthen bonds between people, right? It's exactly where duck and cover comes into play. <clears throat> I lost one of my juniors in November to cocaine overdose. Nobody knew he had an issue. He checked himself into rehab. Next thing you know, he OD'd in rehab. In so it was either laced wow. or he just had a bunch. I think a lot of us think it was just laced with fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Either way, we lost we lost him then. Uh, there's been quite a few other deaths and everything that occurred between buddies of mine that is like, something's gotta fucking change. And utilizing my own life <clears throat> uh, experiences and things I've been through, I can kind of relate to people. And that's exactly where Duck and Cover Initiative comes in goals as far as outreach is that we try to find people that have overcome life's obstacles and have tools that they can then teach on to other people. Do not have to be military to actually be a part of the initiative and actually help out with military guys. And that's part of a stigma that we have to break down on Duck and Cover side. Uh, we have to figure out how to bridge that gap between, yeah, okay, Bob over here has never been in the military. Just for instance, I'm taking this guy over here and I got to marry you guys up. So now I got to develop rapport between you two guys and I got to help you guys look for the similarities and not the differences. That's on our part. Um, so real quick, let me, let me digress. Let me give you our mission statement. Our mission statement is to provide mental health networking or mental health mentorship and networking for not only the soft veteran community, but as well as for Gold Star family members. So this is even going forward and it's going on for the children and the wives and or even husbands of people that have actually passed away overseas. This also goes for them. And then right now we are soft, being special operations forces specific. However, within the next five years, we're looking at growing that to all veterans because why should it not be for everybody really, honestly. And I feel that if we get the soft veterans to actually get the foundation and fix our recipe and actually perfect it with that, who better else to lead than everybody else that were not the special operations than the special op you already look up to the special operations guys. Right. And they're already hooked up with all these entrepreneurs out here and all these uh, business people. So now we're building that network there through the mentoring. The network's still growing. Got that. Overall goal is once you've been through the program, it's a give back uh, type program to where, say, if you join up or, if, you know, somebody, even myself, I'm going to be a mentor. You give back. Once you've gone through, rotate back around. Now you're a mentor. Once you're the mentee, you then become the mentor. So you keep on passing on that. And through your network, you can find people. Um, we can find help find their next task and purpose in life after the military, but at the same time, we can start connecting people in positions to where they never thought the ability was there, as well as put them into the proper channels or places to where they can develop our best facilitate and be of uh, greater impact. Three main events that we're looking at doing. Dutch hunting is one. Second one is uh, fishing and then camping. Camping is going to be more like survival style and everything. Try to teach a little bit of life skills out of bushcraft. And it's all geared for different types of people also. Somebody that has a lot of stuff, a lot of combat that they've seen and everything. That's who we take to duck hunting first, actually, believe it or not. Because we have to break them with that mindset. And that's actually the area that's actually going to get their mind back into that mindset as if they're actually in combat first. Um, somebody that already kind of has life figured out a little bit and they need a little bit more peaceful to actually kind of figure out what their next steps are going to be. Well, obviously we jump them over the camping part. <clears throat> and then we have to face it. We're going to run into people that actually are not able to handle firearms. Fishing. Can't handle a gun, but you can handle a rod. 
let's go out there and still get that adrenaline rush from reeling in that big fish. So we have different mediums across the board as well. White ducks. Good question. What? White ducks. The, the, the duck oh, white ducks. Okay. <coughs> so in regards to ducks, <clears throat> when I was initially starting this, I did not have a name for it. I just knew the vision and what I wished to accomplish. I met up with who's going to end up being our vice president, uh, James Hamlin, and he's a duck hunter. And he had a vision as well. And they matched up. And so the way he paints this, um, imagine if you will, early morning, sun's not up yet. You're in water, you're about waist high. It's a little cold. And you're looking on the horizon and you're waiting for the sun to come up and you're waiting for birds to come across that horizon as well. You got shotgun ready. And that's the same type of mind frame that actually the number one guy is whenever we get ready to go into a side of a structure. You're sitting there, number one man, guns up. You can hear everything going on. So you understand it's coming, but still that, that anticipation, that anxiety starts to build in you. And then finally you hear the boom, execute, go. And you're in there. With that, the same mind frame, you're waiting for her to come, you're, Anxiety's up. All of a sudden, they show up. Go time. It's time to actually start going ahead and trying to actually get your harvest. That's exactly why that one's geared more towards the guys that actually have seen a lot of stuff because we actually get their brain there first. <coughs> After that is when we go to um, campfire talks. But for duck and cover, that's why we went that way um, because we wanted to go with duck hunting. Same token, whenever in combat and as well as life, you're always going to have variables come at you. Whether it's combat, you got bullets flying at you, or whether it's life and you have this bill, this ticket that pops up. Um, this deal over here didn't go down the way it should have, and now I got to go back and do backside and try to actually rebuild rapport in order to get that deal back on track type of deal. Um, you have to duck and seek cover from some of those things, all while still advancing forward. So it's a play on words as well, mm -hmm. duck and cover initiative. The initiative part is being one's own initiative in your own life. At the same token, also realizing when somebody else is unable to take the initiative in their own life, but yet you see so much possibility out of them and you believe in them, that you're willing to be the initiative for them in their life. So that's actually duck and cover initiative laid out the way. All the way down. Stigmas until you build rapport with people. No, if you don't have trust, no one's going to work with you. So you build a rapport first, and after that, then we start breaking down some of the social stigmas of guys aren't supposed to cry. So again, I like using that one a lot because I cry all the goddamn time. So again, how can you go overseas and how can you shoot people in the face and then freaking expect not to cry? Like, come on, that stuff comes back and revisits you. Same token as, um, how many times have you seen a father that has a daughter sit down at a tea party with her? <laughs> all the time. There you go. All right. <laughs> it happens. I've done it with my daughter. But general society will have you believe it, like, oh, you're not supposed to do that. That's not masculine. And it's, that's actually toxic masculinity where you go around and you actually start basically degrading men that have true masculine natures of taking care of society and taking care of the people around them. That's actually what we need to bring back. We need to actually kind of uh, embrace that ability that people have had in general, men, women, doesn't matter, of actually taking care of each other. And that's where the mentorship comes involved. So. When you look at civilian sector, you guys have different ways of thinking, opposite of ours, because ours has always had our standard operating procedure or certain mindsets. Civilian, there's way, or there's a vast more, or there's a vast wide array of abilities out there that are different than ours. And I think that everything can complement each other because you might have 60% of the solution and not have the other 40% taken care of. Whereas if you bring in a military mindset, military way of thinking, that might be that extra 40% that you might need in order to accomplish your goal. And that's also takes it back to the networking part because through your mentorship and showing your civilian abilities on how to get something done and breaking somebody away from the military side might actually help gain you as well because they might bring something to the table for you or they might know a guy. And it's not about what you know, sometimes it's about who you know. Right. <clears throat> Even if you're on the civilian side, you face life troubles, you face life yeah. hours, right? right. So it never really, exactly. never really gets solved, is what the right. problem is. Right. Nope. And that's just a cycle. 
Right. Exactly. And that's where the mentors come into play because you've broken that cycle in your life at some point. So and fast. not even knowing you, I'm pretty sure you face something in life that to somebody else is a stone wall that they cannot get over. But to you, it was a hurdle that you're like, nope, I got this. And you can take that life lesson and you can tend to get to, uh, pass it on to somebody else. Great. Great book, Tribe. Tribe describes how we are pack animals basically as people. And we need that connection. We need that um, socialization, if you will. 